So in February, the fire marshal had to make the tough decision to actually red tag a building, which is something that the city hasn't really done in a very, very long time, and they don't take that decision very lightly. Uh, they had to do it, though, because of just the condition of the building and the fact that it was actually a fire hazard because the fire suppression system was frozen. So once the fire marshal made the decision to red tag the building, that meant that no one could actually be in the building anymore. So they actually kind of did a compromise to basically do a fire watch for a couple of days while people had the option and the opportunity to actually move their stuff out. Uh, they reached out to our department in hand, knowing that we have connections with our different housing partners. We sent the APB out to them saying that this is an emergency situation. We need as many people involved as possible to come and help these individuals move and transition out of the Georgia because of the evacuation order and then hopefully try and find some housing in the process. When we actually went into the building, the people were obviously confused. They were scared. Uh, the fact that it was a fire hazard, they were very unsure of where they're going to be moving and, or staying, especially because this was something that was outside of their control. This wasn't due to their, uh, them. It was due to the landlord. There was one individual in particular uh, that was a 94-year-old gentleman that was actually heating his unit by his stove. So all winter long, he didn't have heat other than using his stove. Uh, he had a wonderful clean place, he had good spirits about him, he was hilarious, he made all the volunteers laugh, uh, and thankfully we were able to get him into an actual senior uh, unit that is actually cleaner, nicer, and actually affordable for him as well, and so thankfully he's in a much better situation. Huge credit goes out to all of our community partners, such as the Road Home, the housing authorities for both the county, the city, Utah Community Action, and Department of Workforce Services. Again, they kind of were there in almost like a command center to basically engage these individuals and let them know about their different housing resources, housing options. Sometimes they just needed a bit of rent and deposit to move into a place. Some were actually moving out of town, so they just needed assistance trying to connect with friends and family. But then the majority of them actually were able to locate housing here in Salt Lake City. Our role as the city was basically just the facilitator to kind of line up all those different partners, make sure that the individuals of the Georgia knew about their housing options. A lot of them didn't even know that they were eligible for uh, set-aside units for folks who are senior, disabled, or low income. So it was actually great to make sure that these individuals actually knew about their different resources and options. Overall, we just, want to, we just can't say thank you enough to the, all the partners for stepping up and helping out. Thank you.